Hi everyone, my name is Frank Herderopoli with The Chicken Fountain and today we're going to do a short video on the use of heat lamps in brooders, coops, or stalls. We want to show you how quickly things can go south with a heat lamp that falls into our shavings. Um, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to get a temperature reading on the heat lamp. Now this is a standard heat lamp with a ceramic uh, fixture uh, and we're using a 250 watt red heat lamp. The temperature we're getting off of the bulb is 532 degrees. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that heat lamp and again this is a controlled environment. This is actually a brooder that we use for our chicks that are a little bit older, we've obviously moved them out for this. We're gonna simulate a fall, a heat lamp fall. Now I'm gonna start the timer and see how long it takes um, to ignite those shavings. These are standard Aspen shavings. Um, there's things in there like every brooder has. It'll have some uh, uh, feathers and, and things like that. We are now at 20 seconds and I can actually start to smell um, something burning. Uh, we are up to 30 seconds now and we are starting to see a little bit of smoke coming out of the fixture. We're at 40 five seconds and there you go you can see that the uh, there's embers uh, on the shavings the shavings are stuck to the bulb and it is smoking pretty hard I'm going to turn this uh, heat lamp off um, and make sure that we don't have any disasters now using a heat lamp many of you still will choose to do that there are one of the things that we recommend is that you never use the spring clip on a heat lamp to secure your lamp. Always use three separate secure point locations with wire. That way if a wire fails, you still have two other ones to rely on. Better yet, don't use a heat lamp ever. Use one of the new flat panel radiant heat uh, heaters that are out there. You can get them for brooders, you can get them for coops. Um, but do your research. Find out what best suits your environment um, and uh, be careful. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Hope this was helpful.